All right, this is part two of doing my Geisler boat. And I will put a link to part one in the description. The first part of the job was to get the boat onto the saw horses. And as you can see here, I was a little short of help, but uh, we got it up there. Doesn't weigh that much, but the 300 pounds. And with the help of my wife, we muscled it up there and got it up there and to get it ready for work. I made the saw horses similar to something I saw online. And it's good for uh, doing these small, bo small cedar boats and canoes and things like that. And uh, you just get little bits and pieces of things that you do at different places. And I wanted to just kind of share with you one of the places I got some of my information was from a DVD from a fellow named John Husak. And he puts out a DVD on how to repair cedar strip boats. And he puts out a, it's actually a uh, thumb drive with a two and a half hour video on there. And he shows you step by step how to do the repairs and do a lot of the work that I'm not going to really be going over in this video. So if you do any kind of this work here, even building canoes, I recommend you buy that video. I'll put a link into the description to it. And I just wanted to give him credit because it's been a great help to me. It showed me a lot of stuff, especially in this video where I changed the transom. I got a lot of the ideas from him. So go ahead over and check that out. Check his site out and buy his video. All right. The first thing I did was put a support across just to give it a bracing so I could remove the transom. I just made a small block that fits up in between those holes in the uh, gunnel and uh, pre-drilled it, stuck the block up inside there and uh, put a screw to hold it just to give it a little bit of strength before I start cutting into things. I'm not sure if I really needed it, but it, it, it didn't hurt anything. I still had the seat in there, so that did give it some strength. Once I got that in there, I uh, started to strip all the stuff off the transom. The steering controls had to come off, and I just didn't clean the boat out yet. I just wanted to work on that transom to get that uh, ready to go. I, After I did the steering controls, I worked on all the other parts that connect the transom to the boat. The quarter knees. One thing I found out is some screws come out, but a lot of them just don't come out. And you've got to just try and work at them. And if they don't come out, you're going to have to figure something out. They're tough to hacksaw because they're stainless steel, I think, coated stainless steel. So any of them that don't didn't come out, I just had to pry the wood off, trying not to damage the wood that's going to stay. I had to replace this seat, as you see, and I couldn't get the screws out. So the being the seat already had to be replaced, I just split the wood at the screws and pull the pieces up and then take a uh, cutting wheel and uh, grind the screws off. You just have to remember to move the screws when you replace the seat, which since you're moving the transom up, the holes will be a little bit different anyway. I've got all the screws off. I couldn't get some of the screws off of the uh, transom knee. So I'm just going to have to give them a little pull and trying to get one or two of them to pull out. You can see the rot there. And uh, that's why the transom had to re be replaced. If you notice there, the last uh, bent strip there is crooked. And it's got about an inch on one side and about three quarters of an inch on the other side. So when I want to put the transom back in, I'll measure off the stern, the stem post back and I believe the transom is probably straight here and it's probably the uh, strips, the bent wood strips that are crooked. So I'll, I'll, when I replace it, I'll measure back off of the stem.
I marked the boat, the sides where I'm going to cut it just inside of the transom and just run a marker all the way around. And I did see this from John Hosack's uh, tape, uh, DVD, how to cut it with a handsaw. And I think maybe a sawzall might have worked with a fine blade, maybe a hacksaw blade, or even a, uh, I was looking at one of those angle grinders with a wood bit, a wood blade, but I couldn't find a wood blade that fits the angle grinder. I can only find one that fits some kind of a Dremel. I think that probably would have worked a lot better, but this worked. And you just follow your line down all the way around. It looks harder than it is because once you get through that uh, gun gunnel, you're only cutting the cedar strips, and it cuts pretty easy. Just keep working your way around as you see me doing here. Once the transom's off, you can see what I got there, a pretty straight line. I'm going to have to cut one of those bent braces off, and I bring the transom out to the little workstation I have there, and I'm going to start to strip everything off, take a look at the nail pattern. I wanted to get a picture of the nail pattern because it has two... Uh, rows of nails and then I just start stripping all those little pieces of cedar strip off get all that off for the take the transom down into the basement and I'm just going to build a new one just the way it sets got the knee the uh, transom knee off and we'll get started on the next video